but you see the corner of the new construction back there. They're way off the road, so it's going to be much quieter, much easier to sleep. Hardest thing to do here in the jungle is to get a good night's rest. And just the opportunity to be away from the road, have it quieter, cooler with the more open area, uh, is just going to make life here a lot more comfortable for people that are not used to it. Again, there's the church. The old kitchen, I'm not sure what they're going to do with that. The old guest house. When they build a new warehouse, when they convert the old one into a guest house, they're going to put the new warehouse where the generator shed is, right back there. They'll probably move that either for a building somewhere else and then leave that area open for soccer and play. One thing that's kind of unique is the fact that they're planting stuff and trying to make it more of a, uh, I'll say a park-like setting because it's just not, it's not uh, culturally normal for them to make things pretty like that and uh, but they're taking a lot of pride in this facility and they're seeing that uh, just some natural plants and stuff it's just going to make it that much nicer. For those of you who have been here before, huge changes in just eight months. They're undirected changes by me. Javier is the boss here and he's the one that made the decisions on the guest house and himself moving forward here to, the, to this house, having his kitchen on the back. I was concerned about his animals that tend to run around. He says, oh no, don't worry about that. I got a place across the street where I'm going to keep my livestock. So he's got a lot back there that he's going to keep his livestock on. Completely amazing. My God's done in just, it'll be four years in December. There was nothing here. Generator house there, you can hear it running. Pastor's house in the back. That's a storage room. It's going to be converted into the kitchen. There's a new guest house that's going up in the back. Water tank and storage. The back of the side of the old kitchen. Now, okay, now this is the amazing part. They built this without any of my knowledge or funds. They raised the funds themselves, did everything themselves in order to bring in guests. These are the new um, guest houses. They're absolutely amazing. Still rough around the outside. They're going to do some landscaping, painting, and stuff like that. They'll be finished by March when our group comes. But uh, let's go inside and take a look. Permiso, no. come for me, so amigo. So, as we go inside, right here, these stumps, it's going to be a covered walkway. And then it'll go all the way out to the new kids' kitchen. And then you can see them run down to the church. So there'll be a covered walkway all the way to the back of the church. The guest houses, there is four wings. And then a central meeting area. Walking into the central meeting area now. And here we have our screen meeting area. It's just to gather as groups to talk through the day, to cool down and to enjoy one another's company. The individual, the individual uh, houses for people. These rooms are big enough for two tents, so they accommodate um, up to four people. Two people, two individual tents would be comfortable. So with four wings, four rooms, gives us a maximum capacity of 32 inside the wings and then more to hang hammocks in our uh, central area here if we want. This would be a nice fresh area, a cool area to hang hammocks in, a little more air circulation. Another wing. And then off the back of these wings, 
we're gonna have a right there is the opening to walk out to the bathroom so it should be back there right where that stump is that'd be a bathroom there and then another one off this wing so there'll be two toilets so we won't be fighting for bathroom time Oop, what do we got there just a big moth so all these rooms are pretty much the same we're gonna put some windows in them These boards are put on loose on the outside, so once the wood shrinks, they can take the boards off and then tighten the space up between them and then put them back on. This actually is my room. And since I'm here every time, I'm gonna have my own private room. And so this will be for me and my wife and uh, children when they come. Have, uh, that window there is going in. And so it'll be uh, my own little private space in the jungle. And out here, we talked about this area and we're going to make it into just kind of a natural landscape, jungly landscape, going to allow some trees to grow. Some of these trees will grow up. Uh, they look small now, but let me show you what they'll be like in a year's time. This tree, right in the back corner there, let's see if we see it. It's kind of got a little tree coming out the bottom of it. That's a year old, so in a year we'll have a tree that size. That's one of my escorts. <laughs> oh, more babies. There we go. Okay. Un momento. Oh, yeah. Be careful. Okay. So this is amazing. They did this all themselves. No direction, injection, or rejection for me. And uh, that was a huge encouragement. I took the initiative and... And uh, they have their own vision, their own... See, oh, oh, we got to take a picture of the baby. There, we got some photos of the baby. Now everybody's happy. Oh. And a little Miss Cutie herself. Fiona. Yeah. Say your name. Fiona. <laughs> Careful in there. So, that is amazing.